Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. In this screencast, I would like to present our IMS Advanced. To be able to show the application, I have created a simple standard end mill cutter and added three operations. This function allows to measure after grinding a workpiece, for example, the adjust ground diameter, and to adjust the grinding position so that the diameter is kept in a defined tolerance for the next workpiece. This functionality has been used successfully for a long time. With Toolstudio 3.4, the range of function has been considerably extended. In the simulation, you can see the sequence of these three operations. First, the probe is calibrated and then the core diameter and the outer diameter are determined via various configurable measuring points. If the measured value is outside of a defined tolerance, the grinding wheel data is corrected so that the value is again within the tolerance for the next workpiece. This is the big difference to IMS standard. IMS standard compensate by slightly shifting the design age. This correction refers to the IDN in which IMS is applied. IMS advanced, on the other hand, corrects the diameter or the length dimension of the wheel used. This correction affects all IDNs in which the same set of wheels with the same wheel part setting is used. The advantage of this is that a correction already determined can be used immediately for a new series of workpieces. This is particularly advantageous for series with small batch sizes. The operations are inserted using the operation wizard. You can see here some IMS advanced operations. I select the operation Probing OD IMS Plus. Then I select a space operations, floating and first OD clearance. With next and finish, the operation is added. In the parameter window I can now define the measuring position as well as the tolerance and intervention range for the compensation. These settings are identical to the IMS standard and are explained in detail in the documentation. The advanced settings are important for IMS Advanced. With compensation type I specify which grinding wheel parameters should be compensated. Wheel diameter for operation in which the grinding wheel diameter is responsible for the measured grinding result. And lengths in Z, preferably for diameter operations. If a simultaneous compensation of both values makes sense, User-defined is the right choice. In the grinding wheel parameter window, you will find two new parameter sets. IMS diameter correction and IMS set length correction with the wheel parts, radius, side and OD. When a correction is entered, all operations that use the same grinding wheel and the same wheel part are highlighted in green. In operation, first and second OD clearance is wheel part radius used. Therefore, the operation is marked green. First and second end phase clearance uses the same grinding wheel but the wheel part side. Therefore, no correction or marking is made here. I hope I was able to explain you in this tutorial a bit our IMS advanced. Thank you very much for watching. More information about our machines, software, training and customer care can be found on our homepage. Visit us again soon.